Brothers and sisters, we have a threat before us, an unholy devil-led threat that will prevent us from achieving paradise, and that threat must be destroyed. It is the last thing standing between us and literal nirvana on earth, and that threat, my friends, is people who earmark pieces of paper on the wrong corner. We must destroy them, then the world will be gone. God's realm. Are you with me? So there's something I forgot, so let me just uh, teleport back on there. Here, uh, you know, past this steaming pile is a place that is undoubtedly a place. That's bad commentary. I definitely need to be government regulated and like whatever the heck else I'm supposed to be, honestly. Go watch my uh, Linguini Twisted, no, my uh, Lingering Whispers LP, or like my System Shock 2 LP, or like... I don't know, roll the dice and pick a video. Oh wait, I, yeah, I came through here, so I think I'm trying to go over here where this watcher is and uh, and make sure to always ensure that your demands are physically impossible. Don't ask me to do anything physically possible, like do one thing. Always ask me to do uh, Two mutually exclusive things, i.e. stick around and not stick around, and call it my fault when I can't. So, yeah, uh... <laughs> well, that's cute adorable, isn't it? So, it's, I think I'm almost done this mission, though. And uh, if only I had remembered to come back in here last time, this video would not have to happen, and everybody would be happy or unhappy, and it really doesn't matter. Somebody's gonna complain no matter what. Wow, I didn't think I was going to make that. But are you telling me? Oh, I was supposed to keep the... There's no control room for this? Is this what you're trying to tell me? Like, really? I mean, okay. Well, maybe I just... Oh, I could have come down here. Oh, of course. Hey guys, this is a proper thief mission where you just sneak around a lot and... <sighs> you know, I said two or three things that might have been considered controversial or something in that one, uh, episode. What, also, what is that... What is that robot? Wait, 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 wait. No, sorry, I remember. Uh, I was gonna say, wait, 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 these are, these are the things from the thing, but no, I was remembering the Builder's Paradise mission, so these, like... Oh. <laughs> kill your cherub, kill your TV, kill your circuits now and be free. Uh, is this a healing font? Unfortunately not. This isn't Super Mario RPG or like any Final Fantasy game. This is this is Thief in particular, but okay. Thought maybe she was holding a nice, pleasant towel. So the eggs aren't here, guys. So actually, the egg is not in this mansion. So, I mean, I was in a mansion, and I just assumed it was this one, but uh, it isn't. So, once again, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave this basement and only come back here if I end up needing some more loot. So, uh, see you guys in the place that I actually was at the start of this video. Oh boy, I just can't win, can I? Like, for real. Okay. Moving on, nothing ever happened. So... Is it here? Uh, I don't know. Hey guys, I'm saying uh again, but that's nothing new. I've said uh all the time, like go watch my lingering whispers OP. Oh wait, I said that already. Did I? Yeah, so this place with like the walking walkers, automatons created by don't let him escape by Nikola Tesla, at least according to Doctor Who, but then they messed up the timelines with the current wars. The current wars were like 1888 to 95 or something like that, not 1903. It was all over by then. Fiction is unrealistic. And yeah, my eyes do kind of glaze over when playing, but like that's been the case for an extremely long time. Like, I swear, I gotta send somebody to Logic Kindergarten here because I've got a video that kind of does that, but what's the use? Because they know you can't do shit about it. Huh? Uh huh? There? Dude, stop walking with your whole face. <gasps> oh. And yeah, I guess I can't think of anything to say, so maybe I'll just go and retire after this video, and then one person will be like, Good, good, I unblocked your gate to paradise, now the world is perfect. Just like that one guy who was like screaming at me for... <laughs> 
for like removing the option in Angel Loader to not have fixed width text in your readme. It's like, there's, dude, I hate when people remove options from software. And this guy's telling me, just stop, just stop raping my dog. But instead, I'm just having an option in a piece of software that nobody cares about. But this guy is like, or like, no, that's not it. Like, stop doing something really important, but it's not at all important. So just shut up and leave me alone, you dickheads. Now, <sighs> I'm going to finish this mission, and then I don't know what I'm going to do, because... Nice judge here. Because apparently that judge wig is like an actual wig that real actual judges have to wear still in the modern day. God damn it. Which is extremely silly. Like, I get a uniform, but a wig, like... Man, the legal profession... It's just like, nope, we must still do the same things we did 10 million years ago. But then apparently, because everything has to be virtual these yeah. days... Who are you? There's a body over here! Eh. Also, I think that hair is like literally scroll models. That's pretty cool. As cool as hair that makes you look like a seagull with its wings spread can make you look anyway. Look at this guy with a straight back. Have you had spinal replacement therapy? Because I don't think that's a thing. Like, at least last time I checked, which was like 15 years ago, we don't know anything about how to replace spinal fluid or something. That could have changed. Who knows the depth to which medicine will sink to do extremely good things. Oh. So this is apparently the mansion I need, which means this is a whole thing. I will say this mission seems sort of, I mean, I was going to say odd, but like it's supposed to be odd. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just kind of random. Like, there's not even much of a premise. You're just kind of... You're escaping from some thugs who aren't named, but then at some point they randomly are named. Uh... Like... They're not named in the readme, but then somewhere in the objective or, or like... Or somewhere... The guy is called, like, Pennywise or something who's chasing you or something. I, I don't know, and... And then we go through a weird place, which is good, but it's sort of weirdly just there. And it's good, but none of it really sort of makes any sense, I guess. Like, it's just there to be there, and there to me, there does need to be some sort of connection and reason for things. Hey. I didn't think there was that much left in this mission, I gotta be honest with you. Hey, I'm looking up. Aren't you proud of me, Mom? <laughs> so yeah, uh... That's what I like in a mission. End statement, I suppose. Boy... Yandros, at some point, semi-recently said, Dude, excuse me, but could I please... That he was working... Maybe I jumped from there? I don't know. That he was working on a combined and fixed combo of uh, ominous bequest, gold, and broken triad. So, like, if that ever gets released, I suppose I'll play that one. Really, you can't... What a freaking tease. I don't like to be teased when I get fricked, as I think you may know, but uh, it could have been a bad idea for... What? What? You mean I came here already? How the hell did that happen? Uh, so these two mansions are connected through here, presumably. Or something. Okay. Well, I, I guess that's that. Let's just go into this place that I'm supposed to go into and... End this off or something. It surely can't be that big. A William Stapleberg of the Deer Market Master in Croucher shall be shot with a bullet big as a shot glass. Wait a minute. There's no door here? Oh, I have to jump in through the windows, do I? Fine enough. There's three testicles. Uh, is it because I'm making any window all the time? Hey. Is that why I'm so great? A most complete treaty of coimoroima noima noima doimatism? The chronicle mucuses, or the means of curing this dreadful malady through touch pieces and charms. A dreadful malady? Banish the thought, last. That's like perish the thought, but it's a cheap bootleg version. So if you're interested in saving money, which... I am, but only because I'm literally Scrooge. 
Then go on ahead. I ain't your freaking mom. Nor do I wish to be. I don't want you to be anybody's mom. I don't want to grow a vagina. Uh, nope. Mm, let's give him more thumbs down. Mm, he he must learn. Nope. Up. Let's let's continue doing it until he learns. Oh, up. Where the shit yoked the Joker? Oh, I think it's here. So, I'm pretty sure you can get into this room. Or, or not that room, but like... A room. But it's weird, because those windows don't seem to be big enough, so... Zero clue what this is all about. But... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was... Dude, what was that? It was like... Am I supposed to... Go and look to see what that was. I don't know. This clothesline looks suspicious. It's a trap for thieves to make them get dead. Oh. Bro, is this thing even solid? Nope. Well, that's a jerk move. I guess that's kind of odd. A clothesline that isn't... A clothesline you can't just jump and stand on. That's extremely weird. Okay, I think I'm supposed to shoot a rope. So, are you telling me that just by me coming up here, a door randomly just opened and closed? Or was there a hidden switch that I hit? <sighs> And am I supposed to just walk around the land? Or is it a door in here? You know, it's probably a door in here. Uh-oh. Is that... Is that stock art? A little sheepy lamb? Well, I guess... Show yourself. I guess the boob is okay if a little sheepy lamb is next to it, giving its approval, you know. I approve this boob. It is meant for feeding the mouths of babes and... Nothing else, and by that I mean babies and nothing else. Oh! <laughs> I thought this was going to be a stupid short jokey video, but alas, I have to go back into a weird place now, or no. Okay, I thought this was going into the proper sewers or the underground aqueducts. Oh, it is. Okay, that's fantastic. Oh, no, this is the place that I was like, Erg, how do I get here? And there's Soap Bubbles Supreme. But, you know, it feels like I've been... No, I guess I haven't. Broadhead Arrow. So, whoop de yay I am incredibly happy. And having come to this place, I'm definitely going to use that broadhead ever. I mean, maybe if there were alive spiders instead of spiders whose butts were flaming, then I could shoot them with the arrow. But their butts are already flaming, and I must approve of this, because it's sort of... Well... I guess it's a danger to others. No, I completely disapprove. Don't have your butt be on fire. Especially not if you're gonna hold on to it, okay? If you're gonna strong sad your butt, don't burn it, or you're just kind of making twice the pain for yourself. And others, if they happen to, like, have you sit on them. So basically what I'm saying is... Butts, just kind of a bad idea all around. Basically, just avoid them. But how do I get up there? Squawked the Aphrodite with no meese. That was a dumb thing you can say, but like I always say dumb things, but now suddenly it matters. Yeah, like, oh, I guess they have to rope up. I mean, fine, it's just how would an ordinary person who isn't odd get up here? Maybe with a rope. I mean, this mission is odd, so I suppose this qualifies as something within its realm of rulership. Uh oh. And double, uh, yeah, so like these guys have got spiked helmets. And also I, see, I'm like, oh yay, a broadhead when I get it out of a chest, but when I pluck it out of a guy out of my own free will, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna do that thing, man! I hear the croaking toad. Step into a the mechanist? Earth. Well, I guess I'm not taking this seriously because I'm just kind of running around making noise and making fun of hairbrushes. <laughs> it was alpha hairbrush, but it's actually a mirror, not a hairbrush. So I can't even quote Homestar Runner in a sort of senseless way that isn't even funny. <sighs> I guess normally I would cut that lock picking to make it sound snappy, but like, yeah, seriously, go, go and watch my Linguini Supreme play and be absolutely amazed at how extremely boring it is. So y'all just wizards. I'll find you. And there's I'll that spooky sound. Y'all just wizards with your hands on fire. What did I tell you? Well, I told you not to set your butts on fire. I guess you're taking the letter but not the spirit of what I told you seriously, so... 
that's better than nothing, I guess. Dude, that, that, that room 13 sound, it will never... It will never, ever not creep me the hell out now. Come back here, where, damn it. Where are you? You behind the curtain? Why would you be behind the curtain? You think you're some kind of actor? You'll be in such trouble. You, she is behind the What? Like, okay, that curtain is incorporeal. But this one is... No, this one is. What? Except for that side. Okay, one side is incorporeal. It, dude, that's a doom curtain. She's literally a doom monster coming out the curtain. Dude. Also, this, this music, please make it stop. Which is what some people might say about my videos, but they're fools to themselves because the value of a Fen video on the open market uh, and the interest that it accrues is almost negligible. Oh, this must be the force field somebody was talking about dispelling. Well, maybe the wizards need to dispel it, but since I'm not one... Is this... <coughs> Since I'm not one, I guess I'm just screwed and we'll have to just stop playing this mission forever. Maybe I take this magical candle and just... Uh, it's a force field. It looks magical. Is there a hint anywhere in the readables? Probably not. I don't think any of my readables even mention this. Have I got anything that looks like holy water, perhaps? Oh, keys, 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 keys. Speed. Oh. Incorporate curtains, I should have learned. I should have known. Maybe if I use this voice, all will be forgiven. Oh, well, at least This that... will make a nice little bonus. Yes, and it gave me my loot. So, well, at least... One of my hideouts in Millhold. One of my hide... Like, it does, that doesn't tell me anything. Where do I want to go? Literally. One of my hideouts. This is Millhold. So, the factory the pub. So you're telling me, go back to the start where everybody is after I've wasted all my flash bombs, although I guess that's my fault. So, oh no, now we got the music again. At least the sheepy lamb is here to take keep us company, but the sheepy lamb is probably going to like turn towards us with a scary face and scare the crap out of us using a very cliched scare tactic, but still, at least it ain't the news, am I wrong? Dude, how the fuck are you supposed to get down here? Oh well, I've got a ton of healing potions, and at least that's that. So, the way I'm seeing it is I think the pub was sort of near the start. So, now that... Did I hear an alarm going... Blah, blah, blah? Now that the places have all kind of opened up and you can walk through, that's that's one cool thing. Uh, but yeah, it feels like there's just, just not much story or reason for any... Like, I don't know if I'd call it one of my favorites of all time. I mean, it's great that there's weird stuff, but you got to tie it together with something. Okay, so... The factory... The pub. The treatment plant. So, there's the start. So, if I came around here, there's the pub. The factory is probably where that guy's standing or something. Like, how do I... Is the, fact, is the factory, like, uh... This place here? Because... If that's the case, then is this the end, or...? I don't know where... Okay, Millhold. This is... Oh, wait, this is probably the end, right? Alright, so I didn't walk around too much. The map and the street signs did actually help me. So, yeah, what I said... <laughs> I always say this, but... <laughs> so, um... Bye... Forever, I'm gonna go become a firefighter? Question mark? 